Welcome to our channel. We have gathered some of the most profound Bible verses about love. These scriptures on love are well known for their simple yet powerful message of God's compassion and care for us. John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. 1 Corinthians 16:14. Let all that you do be done in love. 1 Peter 4:8. Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. Colossians 3:14. And above all these put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. John 13:34 to 35. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. By this all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Proverbs 10:12 Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all offenses. John 15:9-13 As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. You are my friends if you do what I command. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. John 16:27. The Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. Matthew 5:44 and 45. But I say to you, Love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes his sun to rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. Mark 12:30 to 33. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. To love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, and with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is more important than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. Romans 12:19 to 21. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, it is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. 1 Corinthians 2:9. However, as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man, the things which God has prepared for those who love him. 1 Corinthians 8:3 But whoever loves God is known by God. Romans 5:8 God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners Christ died for us. Romans 8:28 And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. Romans 13:10 Love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. Ephesians 2:4 and 5. God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. Hebrews 6:10. God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. Hebrews 13:1-3 Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by so doing, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Continue to remember those in prison, as if you were together with them in prison, and those who are mistreated, as if you yourselves were suffering. James 1:12 Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial. because having stood the test that person will receive the crown of life 
that the Lord has promised to those who love him. James 2 5. Listen, my dear brothers and sisters, has not God chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world, to be rich in faith, and to inherit the kingdom he promised those who love him? Psalm 103. Praise the Lord, O my soul, all my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins, and heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from the pit, and crowns you with love and compassion? Who satisfies your desires with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? 1 Peter 1 22. Now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth, so that you have sincere love for each other, love one another deeply from the heart. 1 John 2 10. Anyone who loves their brother and sister, lives in the light and there is nothing in them to make them stumble. 1 John 3 1. See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. 1 John 3 14. We know that we have passed from death to life, because we love each other. Anyone who does not love, remains in death. 1 John 3 18-19 Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. This is how we know that we belong to the truth, and how we set our hearts at rest in His presence. 1 John 4 7-12 Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves, has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love, does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed His love among us, He sent His one and only Son into the world, that we might live through Him. This is love, not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and His love is made complete in us. 1 John 4 16-19 and so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love, lives in God, and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us, so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. We love because he first loved us. 1 Peter 3 8 and 9. Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Do not repay evil with evil, or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing, because to this, you were called, so that you may inherit a blessing. Exodus 25 and 6. I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. Nehemiah 1 5 Then I said, Lord, the God of heaven, the great and awesome God, who keeps his covenant of love with those who love him, and keep his commandments. Deuteronomy 7 9 Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, he is the faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commandments. Judges 5:31. So may all your enemies perish, Lord. But may all who love you be like the sun, when it rises in its strength. Psalm 103, 8-14. The Lord is compassionate, and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve, or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love, for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed, he remembers that we are dust. Psalm 133 1 and 2 how good, 
and pleasant it is, when God's people live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head. Running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down on the collar of his robe. 1 Corinthians 13 1-13 If I speak in the tongues of men, or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong, or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy, and can fathom all mysteries, and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor, and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease, where there are tongues, they will be stilled, where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part, but when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror, then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope and love. But the greatest of these, is love. 2 Corinthians 13 11. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Strive for full restoration, encourage one another, be of one mind, live in peace. And the God of love, and peace will be with you. My friends, if you enjoyed this video please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.